we start off with a little cutting from a piece of cocoa and putting it on a plate with sugar and different plant hormones, we're able to get them to grow, divide, and produce these complex cocoa flavors. And this is basically the first part of the, the development. As the cells uh, get mature and grow, we then have to select them. So here is uh, Aaron uh, working on selecting uh, different cells that have different physical properties which we're looking for. They, can they grow fast? Can they uh, uh, express the right flavors and smells of chocolate? And these are the, the things we're focusing on right now. And once uh, we have the cells and they can grow fast enough, they can taste great, we then bring them up to even a larger cell selection process. This is in a liquid flask. So over here, Rio is uh, refreshing media and selecting cells. You can see some of our chocolate cells in a solution of sugar and different plant hormones are growing. And we are looking uh, for specific growth criteria of how they're growing and the ones that meet them, we bring them for additional uh, uh, production steps. And this is basically where they sleep at night and uh, exercise and grow. So from there, the best cells and those that we're most excited about eventually uh, go over here. So in here are our cell cultured cocoa cells that are getting ready to go to their final stage of production. So this is the, the, large, the largest selection scale that we have. And from here, they go into larger reactors, which we're growing for mass and for flavor. Those uh, cells from the larger flasks, we would ferment them with different microbes, uh, uh, specifically uh, many of the microbes that are also being found in today's fermentation of cocoa out in the wild. So what you're seeing here is we are drying down our cocoa cells after they hit their, their right growth matrix, as well as getting the right fermentation uh, process. We then dry them and it brings us to our next step, which is grinding. In nature, it usually takes years or even decades to find best tasting or fastest growing chocolate but with our process, we're manage, uh, we manage to shrink that from decades up to days. And that is sort of the secret for our technology, how we are able to make delicious and great tasting cocoa. So this is uh, a cocoa nib equivalent. This is taken from the raw cells that we've cell cultured and we've applied traditional chocolate making processes such as fermentation, roasting, um, to, to turn it into a product that goes into the chocolate grinder. After the, the subcultured cocoa nibs are finished, we throw them into a melange, which is a traditional chocolate grinder. This will pulverize the cells over a period of several days. Um, and this creates sort of a fine particle size that when you eat the chocolate, it smoothly melts on your mouth. So you get that nice, clean finish that you would find in a chocolate bar. From here, we melt the, the chocolate down and we temper the chocolate as well. And then when it's tempered, we pour it into our molds. So the tempering process rearranges the fat crystals that are inside the chocolate to create a nice, shiny, snappy, and evenly melting chocolate bar. And then we have fin finished chocolate here after it's been tempered. It's very reminiscent of what you would find in a finished, well-tempered chocolate bar. You get perfect melt-in-your-mouth finish, um, you get that creaminess from that you would find in a milk chocolate. 
um, and so the, the the texture is there. What we're really working on you is is sort of the flavors of the chocolate. So chocolate has thousands of different flavor molecules. It's a very complex food, and so a lot of our R&D is going into that.